The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, and looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Um, this is Billy Ray Valentine joining you from the wonderful city in the country of the United Kingdom called London. Actually, folks, I'd like to share two charts with you going back historically to someone who was really influential in making all of these things work for us. That was Richard Russell of the Dow Theory. Uh, nobody follows it anymore except a few people, a few old-timers look at it. But the Dow theory basically says that most of these stocks in these indices, utilities, transports, and industrials all run together when things start to work. And, folks, you can see by that chart here of the industrials for the, excuse me, of the transports, it is in big, big trouble. We've broken below those lows now. And if we take a look at the next one, which is, hold on a second here, we'll get it up here. This is the utilities uh, also making records. Folks, there is really, uh, there is really, uh, hold on here, make sure I've got the charts right. Al, let me know if these are posting correctly because I am um, not sure uh, because I, I can see them up there, but uh, okay, they're working. So we've got two charts today. By the way, Jeff Huge is going to be my guest today of Alpha Insights. He's got absolutely uh, a beautiful chart showing you what we're looking at. And of course, we talked about the warning that he sent out on Monday saying be careful in these markets. But folks, I will tell you this from the bottom of my heart. All you have to do is to look at this number of 44.30 in the S&P because if we start going below that, that is going to be very, very dangerous. So let me show you a chart here that uh, these are the numbers that you'll be able to look at. This is from my friend uh, Ala over here in uh, London where we're visiting, and I want you to see this chart. Uh, it's, it's done differently because it's done on spirals. It's based on all numbers of the sacred geometry sequence of which the Fibonacci number is part of. But he, he has a way of, you know, mar marking these things along the cycles. And he has a way of identifying support, resistance, and tops and bottoms different than anybody I've ever seen. And he has m marked that in yellow, as you can see. We met uh, um, uh, every day, uh, well, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday uh, this week. And uh, he, he said that I, I should alert you, to alert, alert our friends here at TFNN, that if we go below that 4430, that is really uh, pretty bad. By the way, the, the one standard deviation happens to be at uh, 4435, so that fits in with everything that is going on here. So any move below that, uh, either today or tomorrow, uh, is going to be pretty negative. Uh, I'll will not be on the show tomorrow, but I'll be back in business on Monday. Uh, the Wolfman uh, Shane Shane Smolian will be our guest, and hopefully by then I will stop slurring my words. Folks, I don't sleep very much, as most of you know, but I have slept uh, eight and nine hours a day for the last several days. I must have been overtired. Or this weather is just perfect for me, and it's rainy and cold, but uh, uh, it's fun. we got some wonderful friends over here, and we, and we really enjoy it. And working with uh, Tom Hugard was a, was a real honor. Now, I wanted to show you another one here that uh, most of you don't look at, but uh, those of you, let's just get this up here so we can all see it together. I know a lot of you folks don't believe in cryptocurrencies and stuff like that, but this is a chart that was sent to us by Kerry Szymanski uh, from the Harmonic Trader, one of our friends in Tucson that lives there. And if you can see here, you think these things don't follow patterns. Look at this gorgeous three drive to a top here that it made. Then we made the double top over here with a perfect a, B, C, D, right from the A, B, C, D at Larry's Cafe. And then we come down, we test these lows over here. We make a perfect A, B, C, D exactly at the 382, and we've dropped 6,000 points. We're trading around 42,000. Below 39,000, folks, sets up a huge A, 
B, C, D, way down here at potentially 23,000. And a good friend of mine, a little bird, told me that if we get to 23,000, that uh, down into this area right here, uh, right down in this area, that get your Christmas clothes on because it is going to be like Christmas Day. But if it gets there, we'll talk about it. Until that time, doesn't mean very much at all. And of course, if we get above, you know, 48,000, that's a totally different thing. and mean, we'll go probably uh, the other way. So those are just a few of the things. Now, let me get back to you here again. This is where we are yesterday in the S&P. Nothing, nothing has really changed here. Hold on. So we'll be able to, we'll be able to chat about this without too much trouble. Hold on. Okay, now this is the S&P 500, our favorite. You can see we make the ABCD pattern to the downside to the exact point, folks. We're well within three points of the exact ABCD. Okay, perfect. This is right at that number of one standard deviation. We rally exactly to the 382. I mean, exactly. And last night, we traveled up there again and still couldn't get above it. Now, if we can get above this today then we got a real chance to have a pretty substantial rally. But anything below this level right here, be careful, folks. Be careful for three reasons, and I've already mentioned two of them. But the third one is this last rally that we had yesterday, that 600-point monster, 60-point monster that scared everybody to death, including me, is stopped exactly at the 382, and it's done it three times. So you've got to be uh, – if you like Fibonacci numbers – you got to pay attention to it. If you don't like Fibonacci numbers, then don't worry about it. It doesn't mean anything. So those are just a few of the things that uh, I think that are very important. We got a really great chart here from our good friend Jeff uh, over in, hold on just a second, we'll get it up here so you can see it. This is a real interesting one because he sent this to me uh, in the middle of the night, Jeff from New Jersey, and we'll get this up here. This is a beautiful uh, 135 pattern. You'll be able to see it right here. But I know Jeff's going to be angry about what I'm going to tell you. Well, he's not going to be angry. He's got a good sense of humor. But when he sent me this chart, he says, oh, he said, this is absolutely so beautiful. And he said, uh, he said this is absolutely incredible. He's almost as beautiful uh, as my girlfriend. And I said, well, Jeff, I said, you better have a, you know, uh, a beautiful girlfriend because some of these patterns do fail well I got a I got one uh, later in the evening and I, I want to show you what happened he still got the same girlfriend but he had an absolute bonkers uh, trade here everything was lined up to one three five the distance was one three and five was perfect it was an ABCD and it also happened to be what we call a Gartley pattern so it was really cool uh, to hear from me and of course when you're over in a strange land Fortunately, they speak a version of English over here that you can't quite understand. The other thing that's really difficult, and I've never, ever driven a car in Europe, and I don't ever intend to, they drive on the wrong side of the road over here, folks, if you can believe that. And if you think that's not hard to figure out, it's not that easy, especially when you're walking to a restaurant and you think there's no one coming the other way. Be careful. It can be really dangerous. We're going to take a break. 877-926-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the graph uh, of the chart that uh, Billy V sends us from Dallas, and it shows you the arrow points to that fact that we're right at that one standard deviation at 44.35.44, the lowest 30, 45.44. So that's the zone. This is where the option players do their business. It's many, many times bigger than the stock market. And anyway, that's uh, pretty much how things go. Now, let's take a look at the next one, which is a, a picture of the gold market. It's a 15-minute chart, but you can see over the last two days, it's made the 61% retracement. But you look at the multiple ABCD patterns uh, that you can see here, folks. Uh, that, that's what I was trying to point out, the fact that the last one stopped right there at the 78% level at uh, 1941. If you were to sell it there, your risk was about $4. It's already made a little bit more than that. So if you're in that type of trade, you know, if you've already made four or $500, that was your original risk, the worst thing that should happen to you is it breaks even. So on a trade like this, it hasn't made the first profit objective as of yet. At least I haven't, haven't seen anything, but it would have been coming in right around the um, 19 uh, 31 level that would have been a thousand dollars and uh, then you would have your first profit objective and then you can put your stop at break even and let it rip because you don't know where it's going to go it could make a huge abcd from the high on the very left part of the chart to the low down there at the bottom where the final abcd was formed and then back up again but look at the swings in this folks i mean this is these are big swings in gold we're seeing we're seeing volatility in everything and that's been the motto here at uh, TFNN. We're going to see increased volatility for 2020 uh, for several years, most probably. Now, let's talk about the market that's got the biggest problem, folks. And uh, those of you that are involved in the bond market, I think uh, you better pay very, very close attention to the charts that, uh, let's get this up here. Uh, that Jeff is going to show us. I'm going to steal a little bit of his thunder here and put this chart up, but we'll see it again when he comes on, and that is the uh, chart of the uh, yield index. And you'll see here that this thing is a breakaway move. You can see the target is not that far away, so that might give it some respite. But longer term, uh, this thing has changed for a long time. The ne negative interest rates 
uh, from my perspective, never sounded very smart anyway, but now it looks like it's going to have a situation where people are going to realize, whoa, maybe this is not the way things are supposed to be, and I don't want to be in that direction. The main thing that we have to realize is that these prices of bonds have started to drop uh, so rapidly in here that the, the acceleration to the downside is, means that the Fed, in my opinion, the Fed is, is trapped between a rock and a hard place, and the hard place and the rock are really whacking it pretty hard. So it seems to me that the bonds, even, let me show you the patterns on these folks. They, these should have stopped here. Now, the only thing, let's, let's do the bonds first, okay? Get it up here, and you'll see here, this is the bond market. We'll get the whole, we've been bearish for bonds for a very long time, but especially back there when we had the, uh, uh, the uh, pattern that was uh, this uh, one, three, five pattern. There's one, there's three, there's five. That's perfect symmetry. This came within two pips of the exact 61% retracement. Unfortunately, I had my my stop uh, three pips away. I missed it by one pip, and uh, then it just totally collapsed. But you had the one, three, five, and we're heading lower. We're almost ready to make this larger A, B, C, D to the downside that will take us down near our final objective on this before we get a monster rally. And that's down around the one, the 130 level. But I think what we need to do is we need to look at the Treasury note market because the notes, uh, they are much, well, they're a much larger market. They're about three times that's the largest of all the commodity markets that we tra trade. Let's get it up here so folks can see it. And there is the weekly note market. And uh, you can see the objective down here is down another several points. But this thing has just been accelerating to the downside. Folks, if we take out this low way over here on the left side, which I think we're, gonna, we're going to because you can go over there and see, this could be <laughs> – I mean, stop and think, folks. Look how much money the Federal Reserve has borrowed here since 2008. In, in fact, since 2020, more money has been borrowed than the previous 10 years combined. Now, if that money starts costing more to hold, in other words, they lend the money out, and all of a sudden the rates on those start to go higher, this is not good for inflation. It's not good for stocks. Um, at least historically, it hasn't been. But whether it's going to be in the longer term, you know, I don't really know. But these bonds don't look very good. Every time they rally a point, they drop a point and a half or two points. So that's a you know, major thing you know, to pay uh, you know, very, very close attention to. So let's uh, also take a look here, um, uh, one that's in the news, and we've been talking about it uh, every day here since the top was, well, we talk about it every day anyway, which was the, the crude oil market. But if you take a look at the uh, uh, chart pattern that we're looking in crude, let's get it up here so you folks can see it. You'll see that uh, we had this 61% retracement up there, up here at the uh, 121 level. It topped at 130, dropped all the way down. We have a perfect ABCD. We're not very far away from it now. We're within about uh, seven or eight points. Uh, I expect that's probably sometime around Easter time or a little later that we make this big ABCD. And folks, this is going to be such an important one because everybody that's bullish back in here are starting to get married, and that's the wrong time. That's where you want to be looking for a major ABCD correction in a bull market. H.M. Gartley said on page 222 of his book that cost $1,500 in 1937 to buy that first ABCD correction in the bull market. And when you have your first ABCD correction in a bear market, you sell that one. And that's what we do with the Gartley pattern. So this is major on our watch list here. Uh, probably sometime uh, right around, well, next Friday is Good Friday. And then we have Easter Sunday, so probably around Tuesday or Wednesday of that week, which would be the 14th or 15th, I believe. You want to be watching this. Uh, that will be the 14th. You want to be watching it very, very closely because it has a tendency to uh, get everybody bearish at the wrong time. And um, so that's it. Now, the, a lot of people are saying that oil is going to go to 200 to $300 a barrel. 
folks, it might do that. Before it gets there, it's got to complete a pattern somewhere. If we get above this 61% retracement before we do that, then there's a possibility. But right now, you know, the news is incredibly bullish, and the market doesn't want to go up. You know, when the market reacts badly to, uh, you know, the good news, I mean, it's only got one place to go, and that's down. Even on the shorter terms, I mean, you know, every time it rallies three dollars a barrel, it gets hit. So those are uh, and they, they makes nice little patterns intraday. That's why trading it on the fifteen minutes is good. Wow, almost time for the Jeff man, Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights coming up very shortly. You'll have to hold your calls for Jeff. Unfortunately, he couldn't get through today on my program. Very unusual. Eight seven seven nine two seven. 6648 and we'll be back with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have as our guest today, Jeff Hughes of Alpha Insights. Jeff, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, Larry. Thanks for having me on your show again. Well, I was uh, I would have you on every day, but they won't allow it. Listen, you sent out a special. Uh, I stole a little bit of your thunder these last few days because of the special thing that you sent out. And I posted it here in the room today about the danger signal uh, that you're seeing. So uh, could we start with that and then we'll move on to uh, the next chart? Because, I mean, Jeff, 
I've been in this business a long time, and it takes lots of chutzpah to come out and, and write an article or, or a, a danger signal like this because, you know, you expose yourself to being wrong, which we are often wrong here. But uh, I think it's great. Tell the folks what you're looking at, please. Yeah, so um, first let me explain where we came up with this. Back during the great financial crisis in uh, uh, late 2007, as things started to keel over in early 2008, you know, we, we were realizing that there's a problem here, and let's figure out how we could have solved this problem had we known everything we know right now. And so what we did is we came up with, um, you know, a model that we call the liquidity risk model. And that model takes a basket of highly economically sensitive risk assets and um, compares it to a basket of interest rate proxies. And when we see the um, when we see very abrupt changes in the slope of the yield curve, it tends to trigger this model to the to the downside or to the upside. The first signal we saw was in January of 20, uh, 2008, right as the financial crisis was kicking off in the very first inning. And then the second signal we saw was in May of 2009, at the very end of the financial crisis, kind of giving us the all clear signal. And for 14 years, this model ran um, straight up. I mean, just hummed right along with very little in the way of any sort of a shakeup. We had a little bit of a neutral signal in 2018 uh, as the Fed started to tighten. And then again during the uh, uh, pandemic crisis. But we really haven't seen any negative or bearish signal from the model until March 31st, at which point we got our very first bearish signal. And what that tells us is that um, financial conditions are tightening, that uh, we're, we're reaching a point of um, uh, a critical point, basically a tipping point in the structural financial system, whereby uh, changes in interest rates could set this thing in motion to a point where uh, we are in a full-blown financial crisis. We're not there yet. We're just simply saying the model is saying that Financial crisis risk is as high as it's been since January of 2008. Well, this chart that you've shown us here, I mean, it's uh, it, it should open somebody's eyes because, I mean, it's very scary. You've got the gray black ground and you can see just most vividly that is that a 200 day moving average or that red line that's there? What is it that uh, that stopped it? No, that is a specialized model that we created. Basically, that model uh -huh. line is based on Wells Wilder's parabolic stop and reverse mechanism. And so oh, yeah, we did yeah. a lot of uh, uh, testing, quantitative testing to arrive at the exact precision of uh -huh. that, uh, that model indicator. Well, we were unfortunate to lose uh, our good friend uh, Wells uh, uh, last year, and uh, he certainly was really uh, did a lot for the business. But Jeff, he he was a great man. You know, he had I think uh, five or six boys. I mean, he had a big family, and um, he spent a lot of time with them. All of them were very very successful. Some in trading, some in not trading. But he he was uh, a way uh, to live your life by. He just he was a great person. So He's very uh, influential thought, on uh, my work, no doubt about it. A, a lot of people. He certainly was. I was fortunate to be on a program with him a couple times, and I always said to myself, please don't let me follow somebody like that again because, boy, he uh, he was uh, extremely uh, – extremely really good now i posted that other chart uh showing you the the yields and stuff and that that's all part of what this is all about that rates are going up at a rate faster than they ever anticipated isn't it it is um you know we've been putting up this chart of the 10-year treasury yield since november when we got the initial signal uh that rates were breaking out to the upside and you know um i said at that time that i thought that they could they could um, increased to 3% much faster than most people did. And we're now at 265, yeah, which is the high. And, and that's occurred in, uh, that's even surprised me on how fast it's occurred. But if you take yeah. a look at the other side of this chart, it's almost symmetrical, right? And so mm -hmm. time symmetry is something that we need to be cognizant of here. And while, you know, we can always engage in some sort of back and fill and um, sideways action before the final move to the upside comes, it will not surprise me one bit if we blow right through that 3% level and head north. And so uh, I think there's a change of foot here. And, you know, we've got another slide in there that explains the reason why. Is this the next one that uh, I think we're going to be looking at here? 
Uh, I yeah. have a question on this. This is the yield, the yield spread, correct? Correct. Okay. Now, before we get to that, for the folks out there that you know don't follow these things as far as interest rates and stuff, as interest rates go higher, the Federal Reserve, because they've issued this paper, they have to pay interest rates at a higher rate. Is that correct? Yeah, it depends on the, the term structure of the debt, right? Mm -hmm. You know, so um, the shorter term uh, uh, stuff is going to be affected more so. Uh, the, the, the fixed uh, coupons on the other stuff is going to is not going to change. It's just going to change its value in the marketplace, and so it's going to adjust. But really, what this chart is showing you is two different periods. Uh, the top frame shows the spread between the 10-year Treasury and the three-month Treasury. And that's the one the Fed spends most of their time looking at, and it's still very, very steep. But what the market spends their time looking at is the longer-term relationship. And we're showing below the 30-year bond minus the two-year bond yield spread. And mm -hmm. what we're seeing is that that spread is basically flat. It's 13 basis points uh, as of yesterday's close. It's a little bit less today, actually. Uh, but at the end of the day, the real issue here is that um, – because two-year yields are so much higher than they than the three-month yield, people are unlikely to go out on the curve. They're going to start selling their long-term debt and buying shorter-term debt because they can get the same yield, right? And so what that's going to end up doing is causing the yield curve to steepen again. And that really plays right into that, um, that prior chart, which shows 10-year um, Treasury yields going higher. We think as people start selling their 30-year bonds, their 20-year bonds, their 10-year bonds, and start buying, you know, T-bills and two-year bonds and five-year bonds because they can get the same yield, well, then that's going to flip this curve very steep again. And uh, that is going to be what, what we're going to be looking at is a parallel yield curve shift to the upside here, which means the entire rate environment, the structure of interest rates, is going to shift higher by about 200 basis points because that top frame shows how far behind the curve the Fed is at this point. Well, uh, they've they've been like I said when, this, when I started the thing here, because I, I I just look at the charts and it, it appears that the Fed is between the rock and a hard place and the the rock and the hard place are winning. So I think we've got more to go. I'm what I'm possibly thinking like you. I think that they're going to reach a, a tipping point here pretty quickly where this thing could really accelerate. We might see a, a move of four or five points in one day. Jake, Jeff, can you stay with us for the second segment? Yes, of course. We bet. Jeff Huge Alpha Insights, folks. Got it. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, talking with Jeff Hughes of Alpha Insights, and we're going to talk a little bit about the inflation problem that the whole world is seeing. And you, you can't believe it over here, folks. <laughs> Some of these prices are uh, just out of sight. But anyway, Jeff, uh, tell us what you're looking at on the inflation front. Sure. This inflation dash dashboard was created by the Atlanta Federal Reserve. And uh, what it really does is it takes a look at nine different uh, calculations for core inflation. Each of the nine Federal Reserve banks kind of does their own calculation. And the, the Fed, uh, you know, as a group, looks at core PC as kind of being its, um, its preferred measure, this personal consumption mm -hmm. expenditure core. And that's 5.4 percent. But the point is the target rate that the Fed is looking for for core inflation is Two percent, and so we are a minimum of 300 basis points above that level right now across the board here. With some of these uh, measures, you know, uh, closer to four, five hundred basis points above, and so you know, there's no question at this point that the Fed is going to take aggressive action to uh, curb this inflationary condition. They're attacking it head on. It is their focal point, and that is the reason that we're going to see. Something like 200 basis points of interest rate increases this year. Uh, the um, uh, the uh, Fed um, funds uh, futures market is actually predicting about a 2.5% Fed funds rate by December 31st. And so uh, that is going to be the most aggressive uh, Fed hiking that we've seen in history, at least the last 50 years. Uh, you know, I can see why you put out a warning because I, I was looking at the transportation index collapse and also the utility index, and I never trade these. I just look at them just from my days of watching Richard Russell, you know, back when I started in this business uh, a few weeks ago. But I, I, I'm just <laughs> shocked at how quickly it's happened. I mean, it's just uh, – uh, you mentioned the thing on that yield spread of how quickly it's happened to get to 3%. And my goodness, if we go past there, my goodness, we could be at 4 or 5% faster than people could might believe. And that would mean that U.S. dollar would collapse, I would think. Yeah, um, it's tough to say exactly what would happen with the dollar. Um, what I see mm -hmm. and what you're going to see in the next chart that I put out is that you know, the market's already sniffing this out, and there's a massive flight to safety underway. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, um, the U.S. dollar and cash actually are part of that flight to safety. But if you take a look at this bifurcated market chart, uh, on the left-hand side, you can see all the safe havens within the stock market. FANG MT, these are the seven mm -hmm. largest companies in the United States with, you know, fortress balance sheets. And those are doing re relatively well. Um, mm -hmm. REITs are going up, utilities are going up, staples are going up, healthcare, all of these are up and trending to the, you know, north by northeast, right? But if you look at mm -hmm. the right hand side of the chart, all of the highly economically sensitive and cyclical areas of the market are getting destroyed. Uh, transportation, you know, making a new low today. Uh, 
uh, home builders breaking down, banks mm-hmm. getting crushed. J.P. Morgan's about to touch its 200-week moving average. Uh, semiconductors, which are really you know one of the most necessary components for economic growth going forward, uh, doing terrible. Retailers doing terrible, except for the big broadliners like Walmart and Costco. And so when you take a look at what's happening here, you can see that market participants are bracing for a recession. They're seeking safety in the market at this point. Wow, this is really something. Now, the next one is difficult for some folks, but you have pretty much mastered that, and that is the Elliott Wave Principle. You've been uh, saying this for the last several weeks that, uh, you know, we're heading south. So what are you looking at right now, Jeff? There's two narratives, Larry. There's a bull case and a bear case, and and quite honestly, it's 50-50. You know, you can see the split in the market where money is moving. It's flowing from cyclicals to defenses, and that makes it more likely that the bear count is going to be operative. We won't know for certain until the S&P breaks below S&P 4300 and holds below that level. Uh, we've broken it a couple of times, but moved right back above it. So, you know, it's kind of been a false alarm. Uh, the bull count, which is on the left side of this chart, um, that suggests that the market still has one more leg up before the cycle tops. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, we won't know for sure about that either until the market can get above 4,600 on the S&P and stay there. Now, we, we penetrated it slightly one or two days last week. But we've come right back down below it. And so, again, a false alarm to the upside. And we're kind of right in neutral territory. That's why I put the odds here at 50-50. I just don't know. But I'm absolutely certain of one thing, and that is the market will tell us when it's good and ready. And if we break above 4,600, then the bull count is operative. And if we break below 4,300, then the bear count is operative. And if the bear count is operative, then you better get out of the way because it is going to be one doozy of a correction when it plays out. Yeah, it's not going to be done in weeks or months. It's going to take a couple of years would be my guess because we went up for, what, 12 or 13 years, and that's a Fibonacci never got help us if it was down three years. People aren't ready for that, and <laughs> we'll see. The next one, Jeff, uh, before we take the next break, is uh, the one that this is about commodities and stuff, but uh, we'll finish this one up, and if you have time, you'll be able to uh, chat with us a little bit more about how the folks can reach you. But please tell us about the CRB index. Well, a lot of people have been asking me if, you know, if we're headed for another financial crisis, where is, what's the best place to hide? And, and honestly, I look at commodities, and, and I especially look at the lowest frame of this chart, the relative strength chart. And this is basically the CRB index divided by the S&P 500. And it's just bouncing off a 50-year low and breaking out above uh, trend resistance. So it's now broken out. And it looks to me like commodities are ready to, 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 to uh, express a very strong relative relationship compared to, to stocks. And so if we look at the center of the chart, which is price action, we've already seen a similar breakout above a downtrend line and above what would normally be considered key resistance. We're running into a little bit of a resistance again, and we'll continue to do that until we make new all-time highs. But the top frame of this chart, we can see that momentum has already put in a 15-year high, and it's actually a 30-year high. So, um, you know, momentum is actually broken out to, uh, you know, 30-year relative highs, and it tells me that there's a lot of strength and durability to this advance. And whether we go sideways for a little bit here as oil cools down and, you know, kind of, you know, regroups and sets up for the next spring action higher, um, I think that commodities are going to be the place to be. And within commodities, I especially like gold. Now, I do. Me- I, I want to just mention this because you said um, you're looking for oil to kind of pull back here and uh, consolidate until mid-month. I just want to point out that um, April 16th is a Montgomery cycle turn date. And we use uh-huh. these to identify where um, various markets and asset classes might experience a high or a low. And I would guess that oil will pull back into that uh, April 16th uh, turn date, and we could see that mark a low. And then you'd want to probably uh, regroup around uh, oil and energy uh, commodities for the next leg to the upside. Well, hey, Jeff, stay with us for just one more segment so you can tell the folks how they could reach you, please. Sure. 
Jeff Hughes, Alpha Insights, folks. We'll be right back after we pay a few bills. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Jeff, I posted your information page. You want to tell the folks that are uh, not in the Tiger TV that are online, uh, or in their cars or whatever, uh, how they can reach you. Sure, absolutely. So uh, if you want to learn more about the work that we're doing at Alpha Insights, there's a few ways to do it. You can go to my website, which is www.jwhinvestment.com. And you get, you know, basically a really good look at all the things we're doing. You can also follow me on Twitter at Alpha underscore Insights. I'm also on LinkedIn under Jeffrey W. Huge CMT. And all of these um, uh, venues provide access to some of our free content or, or, you know, information that we put out there. We also publish a free newsletter called Huge Insights. And this is a monthly newsletter that, you know, just basically gives our kind of you know, brief summary outlook on the market and some interesting history about the market and things like that that we like to talk about. And um, if you're really interested in getting more ideas like our top pick every week, you can actually become a member of our newsletter for $10 a month. And we send you our top pick uh, every Wednesday at 12 noon. And um, we've got a pretty good track record. We actually have a, an app uh, called Trade Exchange App. And that allows you to track our performance and our track record historically. And um, we've got a lot of positive feedback on that. So I'd encourage your listeners to check it out. 
you know, what do you got to lose? Ten bucks at the very most, right? If you don't like it, then you can cancel. Bucks. Should put a zero behind it. Make it worthwhile. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is really great, buddy. I, I really appreciate it, and thank you for joining us. We'll have you on again in a couple of weeks, and we'll see how this all plays out. But, boy, we sort of live in an interesting time, as the old Chinese curse says. So thanks again, <laughs> no Jeff. Doubt. We really, we really appreciate on, Larry. it. Thanks for having me Larry. It's great chatting with you. You, you bet. Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights over there in Minneapolis, Minnesota, folks. Anyway, listen, folks, I'll see you guys on Monday. On the flip side, I'm going to be traveling back to the greatest country in the world. And I just want to say that uh, it's been fun over here, but it's fun everywhere. As long as you remember four things, folks, A, B, C, and D.